Hello everyone, welcome to Karnataka exams. This is part 13 of KS 2017 series. Today also we'll do 5 very important questions of high probability for KS 2017 and they are general questions. So the first question, the British Isles belong to the category of coral islands, continental islands, oceanic islands or tectonic islands. British Isles belong to the category of continental islands. There is nothing called as uh, tectonic islands. They, uh, we'll see the other uh, other two. And uh, there is one more kind of island called as barrier island. We'll see all those four. So first one is coral islands. What are corals? Corals are, for example, you can take them as tiny sea animals. You can take them as tiny sea animals. They have hard skeleton. That is why they form. They can form islands, right? They have hard skeletons. They grow until they break away from the water. You can see here, for example, they break away from water, and they come out of the surface. Most of these islands you can find near uh, uh, Indonesia's uh, islands. Most of them are uh, coral islands, and uh, Maldives is a coral island, and uh, Koh Samui in Thailand is a coral island. So, what are coral islands? They are they are formed from skeletons of corals coral skeletons in the Akatado and other animals and plants associated with it so this is a typical example of coral islands they grow until that they break away from the water and and they come out of the water surface and then they keep on doing like that and form an island next one is continental islands we saw that British Isles is a continental island what is a continental island continent is land Oceanic is ocean, right? There are two shelves also, continental shelf and oceanic shelf, right? So, continental means land. Continental islands means this island. For example, you see here, this island, it was part of this land. But uh, due to tectonic movements or due to rise in the sea levels, this got, this part got separated from this part. That is why this island is separate, right? So it is called as continental island. So what is continental island? It was part of continental shelves. So this together is a continental shelf. Okay, but it got submerged. There are two reasons for that. One is rising of ocean waters. And next one is they cut off from peninsula. How did they cut off from peninsula? Due to tectonic movements. Okay, British Islands is an, British Isles is an example. And Greenland is an example. Newfoundland. Newfoundland is an island in Canada. There is also a dog breed called as Newfoundland. You can remember it like that. Next one is oceanic islands. Whenever you see this word oceanic islands, you think of volcanoes. They are formed due to volcanic eruption. Where did the volcanoes erupt? They erupted inside the ocean. Inside the ocean, the volcanoes started erupting and they built up see for example first they erupted this much and they built up layers so till here the water is and then again volcanic eruption was there they got erupted till they got out of the ocean like this and this was the ocean and they got out here you can see an example for example hawaii islands is a oceanic islands whenever you see oceanic islands it is due to volcanic eruptions and they built up in layers like layers of volcanoes they built up and oceanic islands were Formed. The last type of island is barrier islands. There are two ways in which barrier islands may be formed. One is due to sediments and other one is due to ocean currents from the sands. Sediments. What are sediments? Sediments are those small stones or silt which are in water and move along the water. Right? They are sediments. They are piled up. For example, they are piled up in from the water and these form islands. This is one way. If they are piled up like this and through sediments if they are formed, they are barrier islands. Or one is due to ocean currents. Ocean currents, they bring the sand and they start depositing like this. And here you can see an island is formed. Okay. If some, some island is formed in this process, even then it is called as barrier islands. So barrier islands, two types, due to sediments or due to ocean currents, they form of sands. For example, Long Island, where is Long Island? It is in New York. Sandy Hook, where is Sandy Hook? It is in New Jersey. These two may also be asked in match the following. So, Oceanic Islands is related to volcanoes. Barrier Island is related to sediments or ocean currents bringing up the sands. Continental Islands, they were the part of continents before. And Coral Islands, the corals form those. For example, Maldives and then British Isles as we saw in the question itself. 
second question the operation flood in india is related to a flood control b oil extraction c milk production d irrigation operation flood flood is related to milk production this was done to make our country sustainable today india is largest producer of milk india is also largest producer of pulses and the other thing is india is largest producer of pulses and also largest consumer of pulses so we produce a lot and we consume a lot here are some of the important uh, attempts uh, in agriculture made by the government till date so we'll see one by one one is cotton cotton is silver fiber revolution all are revolutions only okay so you concentrate like this cotton cotton is white in color so silver is also almost white in color like that you can remember that is the shortcut jute golden fiber revolution honey golden revolution honey is golden in color so golden revolution jute is a fiber so it is golden fiber revolution it is also similar to gold color okay cocoa is brown color so brown revolution marine products means sea products or water products that is marine organisms ocean is blue right so blue revolution oil seeds oil is almost like yellow color you can remember it like this you just need to clear the exam and know these stuffs right so oil seeds yellow revolution and milk it is operation flood and also white revolution which is the largest producer of milk in the world that is india and in india which state is the largest producer of milk gujarat in gujarat there is a city called as anand in that anand is for amul amul's plants are there in anand and vadodara and all so gujarat is the largest producer of milk okay and there is one more called as a rainbow revolution rainbow is like seven colors right so they have a lot of things here like fruits vegetables floriculture plantation etc so these are called for rainbow revolution cotton is almost white in color so silver revolution golden fiber jute honey is golden revolution cocoa is brown brown revolution marine is blue oil seeds is yellow milk is white revolution and also operation flood and fruits vegetables together it is rainbow revolution so please keep this in mind any of these may be asked because one of that was asked in 1998 so there is lot of probability of any of these may be asked or they also may be asked in like match the following type questions third question the first writer to describe the revolt of 1857 1857 revolt we know right it is part of modern indian history so to describe the revolt of 1857 as first war of indian independence who wrote a book called as first war of indian independence rc majumdar vd savarkar surendranath sen or ashok mehta this is mehta m e h t a and it was written by vd savarkar we'll see all the important books which were written uh, on 1857 so we saw first war of indian independence was written by vd savarkar vd savarkar also wrote another book called as indian war of independence indian war of independence and first war of independence this was written by vd savarkar there was fourth option called as ashok mehta ashok mehta wrote a book called great rebellion and sepoy mutiny sepoy mutiny was written by john lawrence and earl stanley John Lawrence and Earl Stanley wrote Sepoy Mutiny and Great Rebellion by Ashok Mehta Indian War of Independence and First War of Indian Independence was written by V D Savarkar fourth question this is the factual question which you have to remember there is no other way total expenditure of the year 2017 18 of Karnataka so this year budget what was the expenditure quoted by finance minister who is our finance minister Sidramaiah who is our chief minister sidramaiah itself so how much was the total expenditure quoted 2017 2018 and it is 1 crore 86 lakh 561 crore okay this much was quoted by finance minister as total expenditure of 2017 2018 you remember this much so wherever it is 186 you mark it so the last question for today related to a scheme done in this year budget or a program namma canteen proposed in 2017 18 budget is renamed as namma canteen proposed is renamed as karnataka canteen indira canteen 
ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೀನ್ ಆರ್ ನನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅಬೌ ನಮ್ಮ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೀನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಂದಿರಾ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೀನ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೀನ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಂಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿನ್ನರ್ ಆಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೇರ್ ಡು ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಹಿ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ವಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಆರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಮಹಾ ಮಹಾನಗರ ಪಾಲಿಕೆ ಒನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ವಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಜುಲೈ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಿಲಿಮ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟುಡೇ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಟು ದ ಚಾನಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೋರ